Okay. Okay, dear students, this is the problem based on vapor compression refrigeration cycle. Okay, in this problem, we have given a standard vapor compression refrigeration cycle and operating with a condensing temperature 35 degree centigrade of an evaporating temperature minus 10 degree centigrade. Develop 15 kilowatt of cooling. Okay cooling ph diagram shows the enthalpy is at various states here the enthalpy is at various states and this is the pressure and enthalpy diagram okay if we plot in temperature okay so what is given first one is given given temperature limit between evaporator and condenser first we have to define the process this is one this is two this is three and this is 4 okay and what is this 1 2 1 2 is compression compression okay 2 3 is compression condensation okay very good 3 4 is expansion 3 4 is expansion 4 1 is evaporator evaporator okay very good okay now the temperature limit between Evaporator and condenser is given. How much temperature limit is given? This is 35 degree centigrade. This is 35 degree centigrade. Okay, very good. 35 degree centigrade. And this is minus 10 degree centigrade. Okay, very good. Now, T1 temperature is given. T1 temperature is given. How much? Minus 10 degree centigrade. First, I will convert into Kelvin minus 10 plus 273 that will become 263 Kelvin. Okay, very good. Now, condensation temperature is given 35 degree centigrade. 35 degree centigrade. I will convert it into Kelvin 273 that will be 308. 8308 Kelvin. Okay, very good. Now, what more thing is given? I have given isentropic uh, develops kilowatt of power. So, what do you know? You know that. Okay, very good. You know that this is what? This is. This is. Okay. Q1 and this is Q2. It develops how much power? 15 kilowatt of power. Okay. The refrigerant effect is 15 kilowatt. 15 kilowatt. RE. RE is 15 kilowatt. Okay. So at evaporator, refrigerant effects happens. Okay. This is the kilowatt of power develops and given give the refrigerant effects. And what more data is given? That is compressor efficiency. Compressor efficiency is 0.75 only. 0.75 and we know that compressor efficiency formula is what compressor efficiency formula is now compressor efficiency formula is work done isentropic work done and actual work done actual work done okay and here only this data is given and both data have to find out okay both are unknown both are unknown okay how I will find out this data using the formula of using the formula of COP. You know what is COP? The COP is okay, very good. COP is what? Okay. The formula for COP is what? A representative effect upon isentropic work done. Isentropic work done. Okay. So, what will be the formula? Isentropic work done. It is also unknown. COP is also known. Only RE is known. So, we will use the different COP formula. Another formula of COP is RE. RE is representative effect. Where representative effect is going on? H1 minus H4. H1 minus H4. And isentropic work done. H2 minus H1. H2 minus H1. This is the another formula. H2 minus, sorry, H2 minus h1 h2 minus h1 this is the another formula 
so i have to know the this value is this given or not here it is given what is given h2 h2 is 475 h2 is 475 h2 is 475 kilo joule per kg okay h1 is how much h1 is 400 kilo joule per kg okay very good h3 and h4 are same h3 and h4 are same and this will be 255 kilo joule per kg okay very good now i will put this value h1 minus h4 that is 400 minus h4 400 sorry h1 minus h4 that is 400 minus h4 is 250 as 2 is 250 okay very good 250 now h2 minus h1 as 2 is 475 and h1 is again 250 and this will be this will be 150 upon 75 sorry 150 okay very good and h1 h1 is 400 okay this one h1 is 400 this h1 is 400 same as above and that it will be 75 if we cancel out this will be this will be 2 this will be 2 okay now we have find out this value cop using that cop here in this place we will find out isentropic work done okay put this value in equation 1 okay put this value put this value equation 1 put put in equation 1 what we will find out so 2 is equal to re re is already given 15 kilowatt isentropic work done i will find out isentropic work done so isentropic work done will be isentropic work done will be 15 divided by how much 2 that cop will divided by that cop that it will be 7.5 now i find out this value isentropic work done i calculated using that isentropic work done of numerator we will find out isentropic actual work done then this is the this is the requirement so using isentropic compressor work done isentropic work done i find out 7.5 now actual work done will be actual work done will be how much the actual work done will be actual work done will be actual work done is equal to so 7.5 minus compression 0.75 0.75 that it will be 10 actual work done will be 10 kilowatt actual work done will be 10 kilowatt as the isentropic work done is 7.5 this is the answer 10 kilowatt 10 kilowatt of work done and that require me 10 kilowatt the answer is 10 kilowatt 10 kilowatt okay this is the answer compressor power okay actual power is this and compressor power is compressor power is compressor power is 7.5 kilowatt okay 7.5 kilowatt okay and actual power is 10 okay so this way we find out the value 